In this session, we are discussing Python list comprehension. We shall give you a demonstration to discuss on this very topic and also to share a clear idea on this Python list comprehension. So, here is the demonstration. In this session, we are discussing list with comprehensions. So, we are discussing multiple different examples to clear your doubts and conception. So, iterating a string through a for loop and adding the letters to a list. So, initially we are defining one empty list for letter in human. So, human is nothing but one string. So, for each and every iteration, it will pick up one character from this human string and that will be assigned to this letter and that letter will get appended with this empty list. So, this h underscore letters dot append letter. So, it will go on uh, appending the characters picked up from this string human. So, let us go for the outcome. So, this is our respective output. So, here we are having this h u m a n. So, that means this particular for loop has executed for five times and each and every time it is just uh, going on adding our respective characters picked up from this list. So, I can also put this print within the for loop itself. So, it will print the output something like this. You can find that at first h has got included, then h u has got included, then m has got included, then a has got included and last n has got included. So, in this way we are getting this outcome, uh, we are getting this one in stepwise that how this h letters has got populated ultimately. So, there is a final outcome. So, now we are using the comprehension. So, letter for letter in human. So, you see letter in human, again this particular letter will be picked, picking up uh, H, U, M, A, N, the separate characters one at a time and that letter will be to constitute this very list that is H underscore letter. So, let us go for the execution. You can find the same output is coming when you are printing this H underscore letters list. So, list compression versus lambda function. So, you know that lambda function is known as anonymous function. The function will not have any name. So, what we are writing here is that x will be picking up the characters from this particular string human and this x will be mapped to form this list item. So, now you can go for the execution. You can find that this h letters is nothing but constructing one list. So, here we are doing the type casting using the method list here which will map this particular lambda function and this lambda function will be will be getting this x and where this x will be picking up characters from the string human and as a result of that when we are doing this type casting list this h underscore letters this list variable this list object will get populated with this characters that is h u m a n accordingly so now we are going for if with the list comprehension so now what we are doing so, number list is equal to x. So, x will be the member of this number list for x in range 20. You know that 20, range 20 means the x will be ranging from 0 to 19 because 20 will be the terminating, uh, terminating range. So, that is that is exclusive. So, x will be ranging from 0 to 19, but only those x will be considered if x percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0. That means all the even numbers in between 0 to 19 will be considered here. So, print number list. So, you can find that print number list. It will print the respective number list here. So, if you go on printing. So, I am getting here 0, 2, 4 up to 18. So, that is the way in which the list has got populated. There is a list comprehension. So, nested if with the list comprehension. So, what we are doing? So, y will be the elements for this new uh, for this num list for y in the range 100. That means that y will be ranging from 0 to 99 and those y will be considered which is which is divisible by 2 and also divisible by 5 at the same time because y percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0. So, the remainder of the division will be 0 means y will be divisible by 2. Similarly, y will be divisible by 5. That means y should be divisible by 10 here. So, now if you go on executing this code, we are getting the output that is 0, 10, 20, 30 up to 90 here because 100 is the is a range maximum limit. So, that means the y will be ranging from 0 to 99, but those y will be coming into the consideration to form the num list members, num list elements which will satisfy both the conditions that is y percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 and also y percentage 5 is equal to, is equal to 0 here. 
so now we are going for the if else with the least comprehension so what we are doing so object is equal to even if i percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 else odd so either event string or or string will be the member of this object list and where the i will be it will be in the range 10 that means i will be ranging from 0 to 9 so for 0 i percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 will be true so event will be coming but for 1 i percentage 2 is equal to, is equal to 0 will be false so else odd so odd will be coming for, for the as a member of this as an element of this list so in this way you are getting this even odd even odd alternatively for i ranging from 0 to 9 here so now let us go for another very interesting example that is a transpose of a matrix using the least comprehension so how to do that one so matrix we are having this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 so here we are having the matrix which is having uh, we, we can consider it as a two dimensional array and it is having four rows and two columns accordingly so now if i do the transpose of it will be having two rows and four columns accordingly so how we are doing so so i in range 2 means i will have the value 0 and 1 i will be having the value 0 and 1 only so row i so for first time so i will be having the value 0 so row 0 will be will be populated with the value that is a row in matrix there is a row in matrix so what will happen this row 0 will get filled up with the row in matrix so that means this is the matrix we are having here we are having this row i and i is ranging from 0 to 1 so initially for the first iteration i will have the value 0 so this 1 3 5 and 7 there is a 0th element of each and every row will be taken into into consideration and that will constitute the first row of this transpose and when the value of i will be 1 then row 1 that means it will picking up the uh, there is a second element from each and every row there so that means 2 4 6 and 8 will be retrieved from this matrix and that will be the second row content of this transpose so whenever we are printing this transpose i'm getting the zeroth element of each list elements that is 1 3 5 7 will be coming in the first row and in the second row that means the row index number 1 because the first row is having the index value 0 there so it will be picking up the second elements of all these lists so 2 4 6 and 8 will be picked up and that will be forming the second row of this transpose uh, two dimensional array so in this way we have shown you that how the least comprehensions can be done in multiple different ways and we have given some examples to clear your concept thanks for watching this video